I said, can a living soul say amen? This morning, and I want to preach on this topic, I believe everybody will be interested to hear. Hear me, church. I, I went to, I was going through something, and I came across a revelation of somebody's encounter with God. And my brother decided to take my time to read what was written. And this was the story. The person said, you know, normally sometimes when people encounter God, they will tell you we died, you know. But sometimes I always believe some of them are in trance. That's an encounter, revelation, encounter. Now this person said he saw himself, he saw herself in front of a judgment day like she was being judged. And there were queue, a lot of queue, people were going. He said, when he got to her turn, he said he had a sheet. Now, when he had that sheet, the person that was judging, a very tall man brought out the sheet. He gave him the sheet, okay? Then he said he wanted to, the person to read on the sheet. The person now started reading all the things she was doing here when she was on earth. Now, here this revelation that caught me for me to be interested about it. There was a lot of queue, a lot of people. He said, but when he got to her tongue, he said she was rejoicing because already she had seen herself made heaven. Because she's a born again. He said she, she does not remember any sin she committed. That she doesn't lie, she doesn't fornicate, she doesn't do, she doesn't drink, she doesn't do some evil things. So, and that she's a born again, she goes to church, she lives upright, so she sees herself rejoicing. He said, but when she got there, something happened. That the man looked at the sheet and just signed. And she was like, what's the problem? The man said, That he is serving another God. He said, eh? He said, you are serving another God. He said, another God. He said, no, no, no. Check, check. Maybe the, the person's name is, is not my own. Maybe you are using another person's shit. He said, he mentioned her name that nobody knows. And he was like, what do you mean I, I serve another God? He said, you are guilty of idol worship. Now when he told her that thing, he now said, how do you mean? Can you explain? Because I know I am a born again. How then will I be guilty of idol worship? And I said to her, hear this. You are a born again. That is very correct. You do whatever you want to do in trying to live a sincere life. That is correct. But let me explain this to you. He said, are you aware that anything you prefer to God? Let me repeat. Anything you prefer to God is a worship. Anything you accept to God is worship. Anything you adore more than God is worship. He said, hear this. What time do you go to church? He said he goes to church. He said he goes to church when church is at the meet. Like as I was on the altar, I saw people coming into church. I was smiling. I said, okay, my topic today is working on some people. He said, but in your office, when your boss gives you an appointment, if that appointment is by eight, you dare not even come by that eight. You will be there at least 7.55. He said, for the appointment with me and you, you do not keep it to come as how anytime you want, believing that nobody will question you because you do not see God sitting. Because you only believe in faith of God that God exists only by faith and you do not see God to judge you at that time. But your boss will judge you and sack you at that same time. He said to her, Sometimes my appointment 
You don't keep it on Sunday. He said, not just you, even some people. Because of television series, they will postpone God's appointment. Because of Z-Word. Thank you. God bless you. Because of Z-Word. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Do you know that people can postpone coming to church? Because Chelsea and Man you want to play ball by 10 a.m. Is that correct? He said the reason is this. He said God is a jealous God and do not want you to reference somebody else or any other thing else above him. That that is idol worship. Some people will come to church. When they get to church, in fact, if they go to a local chief in your village, your exit, when your phone rings, you are afraid to answer, you put it on silent. When you even go to ordinary local government chairman, I won't say governor, governor is too big. If your phone rings, you will say, I, I didn't know this phone. No. Even the man might not even know your phone is ringing because of the way you will say, sorry, sir. He will ask you what it is. He said, no, my phone was ringing. But he, he said, in the church, phone will ring. Somebody will comfortably take the phone and move too little away from the speaker. Hello? 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 Uh -huh. What are you saying? That time I was inside the church. Yes, I'm outside now. He said, I am angry that even those who claim to be born again are ignorant of this. And that is idol worship that none of them shall make heaven. The girl said she felt angry inside her. Now, that kind of idol worship is equivalent like what I've preached here that I titled unknown sin. Because inside them, nobody sees it as a sin. He said, my appointment, nobody wants to keep it. You prefer other things to what? You do. You cannot find an appointment where you make money. You cannot find an appointment of a business. You cannot find an appointment of any important personality. But me, that is the owner of the personality. You come anyhow you want, anytime you want, because nobody will question you. After all, you say your life is your life. My brother, after I went through that revelation, I decided to come this morning to preach on a topic I titled The Righteous Idol Worshipper. The Righteous Idol Worshipper. Take me to Exodus 20 verse 4 and 5. I want to be brief this morning. Exodus 20 4 to 5. Exodus 20 from verse 4 to 5. Yes. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Thou shalt not make unto thee any what? Graven image. Image, yes. Or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above. Now, understand this revelation. He said, Thou shalt not make to thee any graven what? Or any likeness of anything that is what? In heaven above. Heavens above. That means that you shouldn't make any image of anything above. Which means that making an image of Mary is wrong. Making an image of Jesus Christ is what? Making an image of any angel is what? Wrong. When you bow to those images, the Bible says that God detests it, that that is an idol. Go ahead. Or that is in the earth beneath. That is in the earth beneath, which is under the earth, which is Satan. Anything at all that you move in your house, buy baby, use a, a stick, carve it and keep and bow to it in reverence and in replacement of God, that that is an idol. Watch it. Uh -huh. Or that is in the water under the air. That is under the water. Somebody will say, I be, I be, what do they call them? Marine? Those people that do, hear me, what do they call them? No, mommy, what is there? Huh? Goddess, no. uh, it's the wine. Uh, uh, some people, I don't know how to mention it. Some people will tell you there is the wine. They will go and mold something that look like something. The Bible said God condemned it. And that is an idol worship. He said the one under. He said the one is born in heaven. Which means 
even Jesus or even Mary detest you bowing down to his what? Image. There's some churches you will go, you see somebody will be molded. And you will see somebody will walk to that place and kneel down. Oh, Jesus. Which Jesus are you calling? Oh, she, she. Something that will use leg. Huh? <clears throat> May God have mercy upon us. Ignorance is so much in the church that a lot will never and will not make heaven. Go ahead. Verse 5. Yes. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them. It's a sin. Come out of it. This morning when I was preaching in Sunday school, I said something. I said I'm happy that we, the small churches, or we, the upcoming generals in future, has caught the true revelation now. Some of our generals made mistakes. If you watch the confession of Benin Hill, he has believed that the true preaching now is the preaching of the revelation of who? No longer prosperity what? Preaching. Bishop Michael Kongwa. I, 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 I quote a man, I mean, he said that Bishop Michael Kongwa said that he didn't know why he is discovering the true uh, destiny of God at the age of 70. So, all those people who are our fathers are now discovering that we now are the one preaching the truth. So, every other thing, if they can have, look at Benny Hill at his level. Came out, was it two weeks ago? To say that all those things he has been preaching is not it. So, we are in the right place. We discover the true revelation of who Jesus Christ is. And that's why when we are telling you we are blunt, we don't care who listens, who doesn't listen. The truth is this. On that judgment day, you will realize that ignorance has taken you to hell. Anything of image, whether it is from heaven or earth under the earth or the river, the Bible said you should not bow to it. Yes, go ahead. Nor serve them, for I, the Lord thy God, am a jealous God. He said, no, don't serve them because even me, God, I am a jealous God. Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. He wants to make you to understand that he will even visit the iniquities of your fourth generation to be upon you when you begin to bow down to those things. So many of you today, so many of you today bounce down. It, let's confess, if you know you, you have been going to do prayer where there is one image or the other, let me see Talk through now. There's even some churches that they have such a level of image in their church. If, because I don't want to mention them. We're going to talk through. The Bible said his image uh, is what? I do what? I do what? You will go to hell. Simple. That's why I called it the righteous I don't worship her. Because you're not a liar. You don't drink. You don't go to club. You don't do those evil thing naturally they see as a sin but there are ones you're doing because of ignorance you go to hell all those things are I don't want worship yes go ahead finish take me to first Corinthians thank you father the place we took today as our bible reading first Corinthians chapter 8 forgive me verse 4 first Corinthians chapter 8 verse 4 yes as concerning therefore the eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, mm -hmm. we know that an idol is nothing in the world mm. and that there is none other God but one. Idol is nothing in the world but there is no other God but what? But what? I didn't hear you, but what? One. So every other thing you worship apart from God is not God. And Bible made it very clear in the book of John. Jesus said, I am, I am the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the word. So when you go and kneel down where image of Mary is standing, Mary is not even the way to God. Not to talk of bowing down to her. Mary was only favor. Just like I am favored now, I pray for somebody healing goes. I prayed for people with HIV disappeared. I prayed for about two people who they confirmed that they came back alive. I am only privileged to be favored with such grace and mandate. That 
is the same thing with Mary. Then some people will worship her. Some people will put image and bow down and lie flat. And God said that he, God, detests such kind of what? Worship. And God said any likeness of anything in what? In heaven. That means even if you mourn something that looks like God. Okay, look at the man. The actor that acted like Jesus Christ. You know, we don't keep such picture here. I don't know who had that picture. Uh, what's this man's name, Kai? That acted the film of Jesus. People has made his picture and put it where? In their church and in their houses. When they, if you go to some places, they set altar in the house. You see one big picture of an actor. They call it, they call it who? Kai. They call it Jesus. Okay? And in the morning, somebody will kneel down there. Jesus, answer me. Jesus, answer me. And sometimes after that prayer, the prayer you pray once. Is that correct? That was what we discussed this morning. That what brings prayer to existence is your faith. Strength that God has anointed your tongue to have the power of death and life. That is why even a cocoon pusher can pray. And the prayer will be what? That is why a sinner will equally pray and the prayer will God cannot, if God gives a man a gift, he doesn't take it. He leaves it for you. And that is why a gift of a man coming without what? Repentance. And the gift will still be what? Walking. In as much as the person has not what? Repented. So, the picture you kept there and be praying and worshipping is idol. A mere American actor. There's another one that came from Europe that looked like Jesus too. There's another one that trended a few months ago that visited Africa. If that one's not picture too, some people will equally mold it and put in their parlor. That one, uh, Jesus Christ. Whereby Jesus has won and said, God has won, I said very clearly, do not make any image of anything likeness put in heaven. So, anything that you equally believe that dwelleth in heaven should not be made as an image where you bow unto. The Bible made it clear. That Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. The main thing is, do you believe that Jesus came? Yes. Do you believe he died? Yes. Do you believe he resurrected? Do you believe he's your savior? Yes. You bow down, you worship him. When Jesus comes here now, you will know that he has come. You will feel his glory. You will know that there is a presence of a deity. You will know that there is a presence of somebody that is so powerful. The presence is not that picture. It's not even Jesus. Now, even some people have started enlarging their pastor's picture. They will put it and bow down to it. They will hold the picture. Hold up. Bow down. So that their picture. Ah, may God have mercy upon the church. Say amen. So God is not happy the way the righteous is going all about by ignorance and making mistakes to worship idols. Church, you don't come. Any day you, you came, you must come late. Any day you're in the church, you're late. Church starts at 30, you're here 11, some will come 12. As long as they meet, pray and preaching, if you ask them where you're coming from, they will tell you they came from, they came from, not the church they go. But in the book of life, that day you were not in the church. And that late you came, we not even stop you to receive miracle. That's the simple truth. But that late you came, can deny you from making what? Let me tell you. Let me tell you, there's a way life works. Cheer, come. Look at me now. Today is September, baby. This is September 2019. Eh? I look like Bobona, Abi. Eh? In next 30 years, I won't be like this. If you add 30 years to your age, you better go there. Now, let me tell you something. It's not a laughing matter. You know what I'm saying? We must have to do our way now. Yes, yes, we know. Just before you know it, we say September. We take Tickle and I, we are next year. Eh? The funniest thing is that there are people too who will continue running for miracle in the next 30 years. There are people even in the next 30 years, they are still running to one church to another. One church, 
I mean, I mean the next 30 years. Still, that person is getting to 80 years. See, by next 30 years, we should be about 80 years and above. Okay? Yes, now. Almost. You see? That time, if some of our children are coming, they will call you grandpa, grandpa. And 30 years I'm talking is very close. How do you know it's very close? Now, listen. President Bugari was elected this year. Eh? Do you know that almost the strategy for who will be the next president have already started? Eh? Because four years is like four days before them. And immediately in that next, in that next three years, Bugari is preparing to leave. Another president will come. And if that another president comes, that is eight what? Eight what? <laughs> if you now add that eight years, you will see that the 30 years has reduced. This word is not far. It is now that you have the opportunity. Sit down, sir. It is now that you have the opportunity to choose a Bible living church, stick to it, and pray God for your blessings and have a plan of life and not worship an idol. As I'm talking to you now, some people who are running around, God bless me with marriage, bless me with husband. I'm telling you, eh, in next. 10 years. 10 years is not, you know, because in the next 2-3 years now, the president will come and they will elect another person. That one is, 4 years will just come. Pam. If you add it now, 7-8 years. No, so. If you remove 10 years from that person's life, he might no longer be talking about marriage. He wants to see how she can make money, how she can do this and all that. So the best thing that can happen to the child of God is for you to choose a Bible-living church who can always make your thoughts and your thinking to be of the heavenlies, then ask God for your blessings. Even in the next 20 years, you will see some people who are getting old. They will be equally running from one church. Anywhere they hear this prophet is coming, they will run. What are they looking for? They are not looking for Jesus, but they are looking for what? Miracle. So the only best option you can have in your life, get a Bible living touch. Where true revelation is being taught. Sit down there and worship God. And only be praying for your blessings. And that blessings will come. It will come. It's all about faith, and courage, and belief. Then you will see what God will do. We do. I have discovered one thing in life. I was just thinking about something. I remember when my grandmother died. I cried. I don't sleep in the night. In the midnight, I'm crying. We are too close. I and my grandmother was too close. For you to know how close we are. When I wanted to get married, I prayed a prayer that God should give me a wife that I can love like my grandmother and my mother. Then you should know how much love. Then, yesterday I just realized something. That her life, her time was over. Soonest, not soon, soonest, my own life. Then I discovered something. I said, ah, her life was over. And I said, and I calculated my age. I said, ah, if I add 25 years in my life now, I will become grandpapa. The thing is not funny. And 25 years from now is like producing two presidents in Nigeria. Two, only two. I said, hey. I said, pia, pia, pia. Because two will give us 16 years. They don't finish now. What do you remember? Because anyone that can't want to stay at it. Now I said, ah. And before you know it, I shouldn't be running from one place to the other. And when my grandmother died, the property I inherited, I inherited it from her. How she labored and bought them, I don't know. I could remember that she told me during the Biafra uh, war time and all that, how she carried gare and trek and buy this and do that, how she sell oil, uh, red oil, you know. She gave her narrative and that is how she acquired all those landed properties. And today she is nowhere to do it. And the way I have seen it, I will die. And that land property will... Hi. I just said yesterday, I didn't tell my wife, I just said I think the best thing is if God blesses me, I will enjoy and serve God in truth because I have discovered that the only home we have is where? Heaven. And when you mix the journey to that home, your own is finished because the eternity you are facing when you're going home is something that is forever. Born in here forever, living there forever. I beg, make I go live here. 
So when I discovered it, I began to calculate. And you discover that I was imagining something. I love, I love kids so much. Look at my children. You know, I play with them. I, you know, I kiss them. We play, we jump up, they climb on my body. Anytime I home, when I'm lying down, the three of them will lie. This one will lie on the leg. This one, the last baby will always drag with my first daughter who will lie on the chest. And I'm playing. Then, something happened when I was thinking yesterday. I discovered that in few years to come, in next 25 years, I'm having some, if the gray hair is coming, but it's not coming, you must equally see that I'm, I'm getting aged. Is that correct? And I discovered that them now will now be hustling like me. That was when I discovered that it's not even good to insult your parents. When you did not bless your parents, you need to go and start crying because you made the biggest mistake of your life. Because this life does not last long. It does not last long. I'm telling you, it does not last long. There's nothing here. And that's why every measure of righteousness you could follow, follow it. Because the reason is, even the idol worship we are talking about, you do not even know. If they ask you, just like that lady, she never knew that she was doing what? Worshipping an idol worship. Before you know it, somebody will die. And when you die, you're gone. Then all the cars and all the whole things you're hustling that time, you will leave it. Somebody else will do what? Because I've discovered one thing. This life is short. Live your life in Christ. Find a Bible living church where you're going to worship God. Running from one place to the other just for miracle does not pay. I have discovered it. It does not what? Because when God has that particular problem and solve it, there is another. You can never escape problem to you. I have just discovered it. Are you laughing? You think because I'm just discovering, have you? I have just discovered it. You can, ne <laughs> you can never escape problem. When you run this problem, God, what is the problem? I have HIV. God, heal me in Jesus' name. Hey, I am healed. Tomorrow, Daddy, I don't know what just knocking in her head. This, this, God, I pray for you. God, make a provision for her to or for him to buy a new engine. Immediately he bought it. He said, Daddy, there's a problem. That business like this is last week. They've not paid me. My children now has been sent out of school. From one problem to... I have discovered that is the map of the world. So the only way to start praying is to live in Christ. Go to get a Bible living church where they will tell you the truth. Then be praying because as problems are coming... Faithfully, God is serving them and you're coming to age. When time comes, you go back to your father. We are under assignment here. I have seen people that, that will come to church and they will stop coming because there is a particular problem they are praying and God has not answered. Let me tell you, as you're living too, the problem will not remain in the church. That problem is equally following you. So, when it is God's time to take away the problem, he might even take it away from the road without you locating another church. Eh? He may only take that one away. You are rejoicing. Huh? Thank God, though, I received one million today. <laughs> Before you know it, one million finished. It was time for you to pay your house rent. No money to pay. You began to make up, make up, make up. Before you know it, they tell you, now there's one, ha, one prophet that prayed for me. Eh? Immediately he finished praying for me. I got money. I paid my house rent. I paid my office rent. He said, Abbe, come and show me. Come and show me. Immediately you reach for the prophet. Luckily the prophet pray, 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 pray. The thing work. You can't remain. Who are you now? Where are you? I'm a church member. Immediately you are a church member. Suddenly, they came to your house. And the thieves, they stole everything in the house. And you came back. He said, prophet, they stole. And the other, my neighbor, that goes to lost choosing. Only the sticker in the front, they saw it, they went back. How come they stole on my own? Prophet, God didn't even tell you. The next day, you said the neighbor in choosing, I beg, where is that your church? I want to follow you. Let's go to your internet place. Another problem, come there. Problem is like a shadow that follows a man. The only best way to live is go and find a Bible living. Belong there. 
No matter how much the problem follows you, if God does not want to solve it, he will not solve it. When I went to this house to pray for the boy that they said was dead about 12 years in Kenya, they mentioned big, big church that the pastors came before my arrival. I didn't pray. I only prayed to my what? Breath on it. I, mm, I say, I can I'm alive. And I've given you the breath of life. Come alive. He sneezed and stood up. People were saying, now oh, the let me tell you, it is only that God has proposed it so that the miracle will come from me. I have discovered that the, this world is like a house plan already drawn. Eh? It takes only God to bring things to pass. The only thing that can save your life is for you to be faithful and do not worship idol worship. I don't know if I made sense this morning. But my prayer is that God will never allow you. If I say my prayer is that God will not allow you to face problems, not lie. I want a fake prophecy. But my prayer is that God will never allow a problem that will surpass you to locate you. Did I say something? If, see, it is from one to another. One problem. One problem to another. One problem to another. It's, it's always like that. Look at the property we acquired somewhere there. About 30 plots. The problem, the day we bought it, we were dancing. But today, that place is having issues with Omonile, the king, the everybody. Everybody is staying clear. You buy, you rejoice. Problem not in the inside. No, so. Now, you're fighting from one police. You want to do this. You want them to leave you. You're praying for God to, if God solve that one, immediately God solve them. It becomes a me. It becomes what? Somebody called me yesterday. He said, somebody gave me your number from London. He said, you were the one that prayed for them. They conceived and born. That the, 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 the woman is a white woman, but the husband is a Nigerian. My brother, I don't know who the person is talking about. But I now have been praying. Now, it's only miracle that made them to refer the woman to begin to call me. No, be so. But that does not mean that the man will not face another. So, only what you need to do as a child of God is to be faithful to. Today, we are about to pray in our businesses. Money will come. But that does not mean that one challenge or the other will not come. But be sure that God will sustain you. You are going to live comfortable. But use the opportunity of that comfortability to serve in truth and in what? In spirit. And I pray that our race in heaven for heaven shall not be in vain. And God will never allow us to worship idol because of ignorance. That the race that we are running shall end up in heaven and hell shall be empty to the glory of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Can we celebrate God if you were surely blessed? If you're blessed, I want you to celebrate God. Amen. Before I go, I know I spoke on images and all that, and there are some of you that came from some churches of such foundation. Is there anybody that wants to ask me any questions so I can go? I spoke about it. It's wrong for you to bow to an image and, you know, pray, ask for, and, you know, some of you do that pray, it works. So is there anybody that wants to ask one or two questions so I can go? But if there is none, so we proceed to other things for the glory of God. Okay, let me hear you, man. Praise God. Hallelujah, amen. There is one certain time in East. They say they saw the Crying. image of Christ. Crying blood. And people when they start praying. Is it a sin? <laughs> Mama, before I answer you, did you equally go there and pray? Eh? It didn't go. Amen. You know, this world is full of mystery. Somebody say mystery. And there is one thing about God. And that is why some certain things are better not discussed than to be discussed. God is mysterious that you will be shocked that the chair you're sitting on, God can begin to use that chair to heal you. How it happens, you don't know. You will only say that when the prophet was ministering, 
I noticed my chair was vibrating. Before you know it, my waist received a release. You see, God can use what? Anything. But you know, there's some miracles sometimes that is doubtable. They say blood. There is one, when I was, when our branch in uh, Sulere was in existence, we were there, our neighbor ministry, we were doing well. In fact, better than other ministries there. Our neighbor ministry, somebody shared a testimony in their bulletin that after his prophet prayed for him, he went and touched the ATM and money started rolling. Then people, when that testimony went on, people were dancing and people were giving. Nah, I sat back. I said, nah, I don't understand. I said, this one is fake. This one. Kai, God is not a thief. Nor does he lay foundation of criminals. So, ATM began to roll other people's money to you. Nah, uh, thunder fire, you know, there. It's a popular minister, so I don't want to mention it. That one is what? Let me tell you, time has come where you do not follow the crowd. Follow what the Lord has shown you. Because in a lot of that crowd, there is a hidden plans, arranges. I can cope. I can cope. I know so many of them. I probably know ones that failed. So now, bringing an image. Suddenly, image began to cry blood. Kai. Nah. I've seen things. I've seen a prophet that wanted to do miracle. There is one oil they call a hot oil. I've forgotten the original number. It's a hot oil. If you bring ordinary tissue and pour that hot oil without matches, it will cut what? Fire. The guy mix it with one thing that look like juju and mix it with the bottle and anointed the place without knowing that it was that hot oil with and he commanded it. I command this charm now. Holy Ghost fire, brother. Evil shara. The thing came fire. So Oloshi. Oloshi, who they do this one for? I was angry because I know there was no the hot oil and tissue was hidden inside. Ma, I'm still in doubt that Oshishi, somebody perhaps. Now they now, because that thing they said it was the image of Mary. Abi, Jesus Christ. Ah. So now, men has not finished. When God said he will raise stone, it's when all men are no longer what? They are still faithful men on earth. Now, the thing they didn't speak, Abi. Eh? The, the, the graven image, which the Bible said is an idol worship, began to cry blood. I began to imagine how a pipe went in somewhere. Stop laughing. It's not funny. I'm getting angry of what is happening in the church of Jesus Christ. Pipe went in somewhere. And somebody is remoting that thing from somewhere. Let me tell you, I've seen things. I've seen a colleague, I won't mention his name, he's a prophet too. Very popular, very popular. We, we met in South Africa. I preached in the same church where he preached. I won't mention his name. He went to do one miracle in, in Anambra. They brought the dead person in the gasket. He shouted, brother, he, he hit on the gasket. Boom! The person rose up, put him, and looked like this with glove. Jumped down, from crowd, disappeared. They shouted, hey, he has immediately he started preaching and started raising money. He raised about 20 million. Some guys discovered the thing that this thing arranged. They went and waited him and said, Bring that money. This one no go walk. Someone like us, another Anike, because we know we are genuinely. And there's one thing about God. God always provides for me anytime I want. There is no time I want anything that He does not do what? If I need a car now, I give it three months. I won't beg anybody for money. The thing will come. The thing will come. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, hallelujah. It has always been like that in everything that I do. So there is nothing that will put me on the situation of doing a... Some of the major churches you do... Why haven't they compete with me with national prophecies? They know they see that one. 
Every prophecy we give came to pass. Let them try us. Let's know who is genuine and who is fake. Amen, church. So, mama, you brought me back to preach. <laughs> if Jesus wants to cry, he better cry through me. Let me shout. Tell you what he told me. That I'm going through one stick and presenting blood. Did some people lick the blood? If I was opportune, me, I go carry that thing around. Open them, open the bag and see where the thing was fixed. Something is happening. A lot of fake things are going. I have seen. When you have money, you can even prepare bigger uh, fake, bigger fake what? Miracles. Uh -uh. When you have money, you can even pay doctors that their clinic is not going well. They will agree that so so person died, that it was tested, and it looks more genuine. That already there now. It did plenty. It did plenty. But we are faithful to God. And gradually we will get there. I said gradually we are going to get there. If you believe in action God ministry, shout amen. Is, is there another question, please? Praise the Lord. Holy amen. I want to ask, um, if I travel out of this Lagos now, mm -hmm. and I decide to have your image or your picture uh -huh. in my house, to just to remember you as my pastor. Mm -hmm. Likewise, Jesus. If I have his image or his picture in my house or in a church, is it a sin? It's not a sin. It's not a sin. It becomes a sin where you worship him as your what? You can even keep my picture. I can even keep your picture as a son and my brother. In fact, I even have your picture. Let me show Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, man. Uh, because you talked about miracle, the one they say lay his or her hand on a, a ATM machine and begin to commit money. I want to ask, there, are, there is one testimony I got and I was like adapting it that someone said he used that smallest cylinder, that the one they used to put gas for cooking, that the person said he used it for up to three good years. And the gas did not finish. That smallest one. So I was like doubting it. And people are saying that it's true. I want to believe if God can do such miracle. Okay. okay. Can I answer you? Amen, church. Amen. Quiet, quiet. Let me answer because of time. I'm going to answer you in two ways. You said, can God do that kind of miracle? Yes and yes. Hmm? Because of your question. I'm answering you based on what you asked. Can God do that kind of miracle? God can do something bigger than that. But let me share testimony. When I was living in one room, I had this, I passed my neighbor. And I know they're not going to bring light. That day I no get money to buy fuel. I don't even have money to buy fleet. And anybody that visited where I was living in one room, the mosquito way they there can finish two people at the same time. So I now noticed that it was little fuel. I now decided to leave it when I'm feeling, you know, as I want to sleep out on it. So I now decided to, I brought one big stone and I bent the jet. Now my prayer was, God, that before this one will off, even if it's one hour or one hour, 30 minutes or 30 minutes, it will last. Let it be then that I've far slept so that when I will wake up, it will be around four or five. If not, mosquito and heat will kill somebody at the same time. Brother, I started that gen and I went to bed and I woke up by 6 a.m. The gen was still on. Now, look at the miracle here. If I went to tempt God to carry water, to pour inside the gen and began to pray, God, you will turn water to wine. Turn this water to fuel and start it. You know, go. That is not faith. That is temptation. You're trying God. But because I was so sober, so afraid of the heat and the mosquito, God surprised me and granted me. So you have seen the way God did the miracle. Eh? I was driving one of my cars before Pathfinder Jeep. And I was coming from the east. There was no money in our pocket. When we got to Oshodi, the fuel finished. It, it has been on red since. We are managing it. I said it will sustain. The thing finished. When you start, it will off. When you start, it will off. Then I prayed. I said, God, I beg. Let this thing carry me rich house. By all means. 
Then I started it. I told my driver then, don't off it. He started it. We started driving it. Surprisingly, the thing took us back to the house. We off it and the motor never agreed to start again till we went and buy. So those things are what? But I doubt a miracle. By nature and by law of existence here on the world, there is no way. Even the big one, what would they use for our house? Not the last two weeks. Does it mean the person cook once uh, in a month? Every day. My brother, that is an RNG miracle. But for me to answer what you told me, yes, God can do that kind of But you see the circumstances I'm seeing this one you're saying now. This one arrange you take five thousand, say this thing, so that members will will grow. Under fire the devil. Uh -huh. Any other question? So, yes. Who? Who is that? Okay, look at her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, amen. For example, I belong to a denomination where they worship all those idols. After they should I leave the denomination or I should still stay there without bowing down to those things? Can I answer you? When you discover the truth, what do you, what do you supposed to do? Change. Change. What is constant in life is what? When you discover the truth. You can even try to be an instrument. And go to the person in the altar and say, Daddy, please, can you pray about this? This is what the Lord is showing me. And I'm trying to make research. If you try, try praying advice and all that, instead of that particular place to lead you to hell, you do what? You change. We got in it unknowingly before. Oh, yes, that's ignorance. That's why the Bible said Jesus is the way they what? So that means the truth now has come to you to reveal to you. And remember that the truth which is Jesus is today living as what? As what? The Holy Ghost. Hmm? So that's why Jesus is the way, the truth, and what? So he is part of this of the Holy Ghost. He is the truth that lives in you. So when he reveals it to you, that is the truth. The only best thing you will do as a child of God is to walk to the priest in charge of the altar and begin to say what the Holy Ghost is. Let me tell you, any preacher that does not even listen should not even at the first place be a priest. Amen? Amen. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense. Hallelujah. Is that clear, sister? Okay. We want to be rounding up. Any other question, please? Yes. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, man. I want to ask something. Like in the church, some uh -huh. churches, when they want to do program, they print flyers. Yes. Or maybe at the end of the year, anniversary, they print something like stickers and the picture of the pastor is there, will be there. there. Now, I want to ask, is it a sin? Because some people have had testimony, although it has not happened to me. Some people will tell you they took the hand bill and held the pastor picture and prayed and this was some miracle happened. That one now, is it worshipping that pastor or praying to the pastor or faith? I want to explain something to you. Is that correct? So that means prayer is not a guarantee of your holiness. Is that correct? So now, your pastor's picture on that flyer might not be the guarantee of that prayer. What has happened in that prayer is that you that is praying exercise faith and believe. Prayer works for both the righteous and the unrighteous. What brings a lot of prayers to existence is your faith. Do you believe even a babala with Thai juju come to your domot as uh, I hope nobody answer in Kiru. As in Kiru we match here. As in Kiru we match here. May her legs well the babala we believe in Kiru faith is not strong. Babalo faith is stronger than Nkiru. When Nkiru match there, will her legs swell up? Yes. So did, did uh, Babalo will pray as, as I Yes. Now wait. Now another one to clarify the whole thing. 
is to understand if it was idol worship for the picture. The former church where I'm coming from, our pastor is against putting picture. But now I, I think he doesn't start putting picture. That time when the faith was crazy, you know, when you start new, the faith is, he preaches against putting picture. Now listen. Some people will tell you that it's wrong to advertise yourself, advertise Jesus. But sometimes it is good for them to know the apostle that is going to speak. Maybe the miracles God has used you to speak. Let me tell you, why multitude were following Jesus was not because he was talking about mystery of heaven. It was because of what? Miracle. So if they hear, you hear that, nah, eh, they say TB Joshua slapped somebody. The person added growth from his shortness. And you see it, the thing really happened. When you see his flyer, you will want to go and... No, be so. Then maybe such thing never happened though. Then if really he preaches Jesus, at that means of preaching, he must arrest your soul. So I don't see it as a sin that your flyer is being reached. But it is the ignorance and the foolishness of the followers that goes about making their pastor the God instead of Jesus the God. I don't know if what I'm saying is making sense to you. So it's an ignorance of you that has turned your pastor. I have stickers, so my stickers is everywhere. In the car, in the this, in the... So that identifies you a member of this family. Amen. Amen. That my sticker too. Somebody might, ah, that prophet knows, so God has been using you. Oh, God of prophet knows, so answer my prayer. And you will see the prayer will be equally be what? But be conscious so that you don't make mistakes to indirectly do an idol worship. I don't know if that's clear to you. Is that clear? Okay. Uh, I want to close though. <laughs> Is there another question for the final one? I won't take another one after this one. Okay. Okay, it's okay. May the Lord bless the church in Jesus' name. If you're blessed today, say amen. Are you sure you're blessed? Put your hands together for this God. Celebrate him. He's an awesome God.